What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, we're going to be communicating directly with the universe to see what powerful breakthrough you can expect to happen next in your life. So this is going to be a very, very powerful message directly from the universe to you, whoever you are. So it's not by coincidence that you're here. If you're hearing this message, you are some of the very, very select chosen few who can even embrace and be aware of enlightenment. Truthfully, this is one of the most enlightened YouTube channels on YouTube. So if you guys are here, definitely don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the Tarot Tribe. And we have three different decks you can choose from, deck one, two, and three. You can also find that pinned comment down below or the chapters down below to go directly to your deck. So let's jump into the reading and see what powerful breakthroughs you can expect from the universe. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what powerful breakthrough you can expect to happen from the universe. So the overall card is you've attracted wonderful news. Wow, that's really good to hear. So some of you guys are gonna be receiving some good news. So this is great to be able to deliver these messages. So definitely um, this is gonna feel probably like a miracle for some of you is what I'm hearing because we do have the dragonfly mermaid and we know that mermaids are miracles. Let's look at the overall energy. Okay, this is gonna come in very fast. All right, this is gonna be good news regarding your finances is what I'm hearing. We also have the four of earth, which says being too frivolous or too cautious with your money. All right, some of you are learning to be a little bit more open so that you can receive because you're holding, you might be holding too, too much on to what you already have, not allowing room to receive more. All right, so whatever this news is with the night of air, this is coming in very quickly events that occur with great speed. So you're getting ready to receive really, really good news. So that is good to hear. All right, something that you've been waiting some a long time for with the three of fire here. All right, this is just waiting, contemplating on it to happen, contemplating on when it's gonna happen, when it's gonna occur. Abundance is here. This is what this says, things look very good. Have patience at this time, make long-term plans. So what Spirit is saying is start imagining what you're gonna do, <laughs> yes, exactly, with this abundance. Start imagining what you're going to do with this abundance that's getting ready to come in. All right. And don't sabotage them by overthinking them and being in your head about them, because I'm also hearing that. We also have the four of water. Missing an opportunity. So some of you thought you may have missed an opportunity. You did not miss an opportunity. And if you felt like you did, it wasn't the one for you is what spirit is saying here. OK, because we have some discontentment. It says open your eyes to the possibilities. Two of wands. All right, some of you really open your eyes, open your imagination to the possibilities. Don't get closed off based on the conditions around you and what you see and what you're going through and what your account looks like and what this looks like, all right? You've been waiting a long time for this abundance. You, you deserve this abundance. You've been cleansing. This is why I also feel like you were drawn to this stone, all right? You have really been cleansing your aura, your doubts, all right? Some of these, some of these, sabotaging thoughts that get in the way of you being able to imagine more for yourself. There's a lot of discontentment that you're coming out of. Discontentment is just not being fulfilled. Okay, you have four, four, two fours here. And what that says to me is it's like if you were to rate a dinner and they said, oh, what would you rate this? It's like a four out of a 10, just dissatisfaction. And you're coming out of that. Whatever your life looks like in a dissatisfying manner in any area, this is changing. You're getting ready to receive wonderful news, but you must be open to this by starting to imagine what you're getting ready to do with this abundance that is coming in. This is what's going to actually get your vibration in a high enough state to receive it so that you're not pushing it away out of doubt. Okay, what's going on here with this wonderful news for deck one if they're here? All right. Yeah. Some of you are really learning to be more confident in decisions that you make, becoming the emperor. All right. Uh, not waiting, waiting. I just keep hearing waiting. There's nothing to wait for. Go towards your desires. Go towards some of these desires that you do have. 
by simply imagining and embracing what you're gonna do with it. We have the 10 of swords here. So yes, there has been a difficult cycle or ending or a completion that has just taken place in your life or yeah, exactly has just taken place in your life because you're once again, you're coming through a breakthrough. If you're here, you're getting ready to receive a breakthrough. It, it is just that simple. You wouldn't be here if that weren't the case. The universe has specifically brought you here. Whatever is even going around around right now is so important to just even hearing this message. Okay, because we have the nine of wands here. We have a lot of exhaustion, a lot of having to feel like you have been through so much here with the nine of wands. Been through so much and you're just ready for a breakthrough <laughs> and your breakthrough is here. Okay, queen of swords. I feel like another thing that is getting ready to come in is ideas and solutions. But if you ever wonder why some of the greatest ideas come right before you fall asleep is because you're in a state of relief to receive. You're in a state of relaxation so that you can hear from your higher self the visions that you are being given, okay, with the Queen of Swords. So you're getting ready to receive solutions and ideas that are going to come to you that will fix some of your issues, all right? And how they're coming in, once again, we're missing, we're missing major arcana here. So you're doing a lot of this on your own and Spirit is saying there's no need to. Let's get a text message directly from your future self. Text message directly from future self. Thank you. Don't overlook what you have to offer for it is valuable. You have treasure inside of you to offer gifts that you have yet to discover within yourself. That takes time. It takes um, solitude with self to get to know yourself. And so you have a lot that you can offer that you're overlooking that I see is going to be bringing a breakthrough in your life. Maybe something that you overlook like, oh wow, I can just sell this or do this or do that. So what's getting ready to happen is also an awareness of the value that you do have. And honestly, it is priceless. There is no price to put on this value. Okay, so this blessing that's coming in, it's money, it's abundance. However, the nine of wands is here, the 10 of swords is here your energy is rising to a higher frequency so that you can receive this, the lovers in reverse. So yeah, you guys have been through a lot, okay? Could have been a relationship, could be relationships around you um, that, that really could be bringing you out of balance. Let's see what breakthrough is coming in for deck one. Thank you. And then I'm gonna grab this as well. All right, so we have page of wands, we have justice, we have Libra energy. All right, so Honestly, you guys, what I'm hearing for you is you're going to be receiving a miracle. All right. And all I'm here to do is to give you the correct guidance in order for you to be in the space to receive it and not miss it. Okay. Missing an opportunity. That's why that is here. And you can't, the truth is prosperity. The truth is, is you can't miss the opportunity. That is the truth. You can't miss the opportunity, which is why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> like if you were going to miss the opportunity, you would not be here. It is just that simple. And, and I really feel like we have adventure here. Okay. So there could be all of these things that are happening is setting you up for this new life that you truly desire. Okay. It's, it's beyond what you think you want. See your future self knows what you desire and you have everything in order to exchange with the world, value information, whatever you can bring to the table, your gifts, and what it's going to be able to do for you is provide um, financially is what I'm hearing, okay? So you, you will have solutions, you will have ideas that are coming in that are gonna be able to do that for you. I also see for you a breakthrough, a blessing, and what to expect is an adventure. Some of you could be moving to another location. Some of you should just do something, being spontaneous, just going, all right? Just following it. If it comes up, just go. Those are the things that you are meant to catch here with the adventure. Dare to do things differently. You're meant to travel. So something that is coming up in your cards is a, um, a traveling experience. We have expansion, spreading your wings. Some of you should just share your message with others. Share your message, shine your light, show the world what you're made out of. Sharing some of these things that you went through, sharing some of your gifts, some of your insights. All right? So wonderful news is coming in. Let's see what else this is about. Text message from future self. There is more to discovering who you are once again. That's what this is all about. There's more to discovering. There's balance I see coming back into your life. All right, remain positive and optimistic. 
I know that you've been through a lot and, and things seem to be not going the greatest all the time, but this is just simply not the truth. It is really just getting out of this feeling of this vibration that you've been in. And, and again, as human beings, you go through things and you feel things. And sometimes it can keep you in a low vibration. And so that old reality, what you used to go through, what you would have went through, that is gone. So there are so many possibilities that are still available to, for you to access is what I'm hearing and it's going to expand. So I see an expansion coming in your life financially, but in order to expand financially, you're being asked to expand here so that you can receive it, so that you can align to it, so that you can walk into it. What else could deck one expect coming in as a breakthrough? Imagination, I keep seeing that, okay? And I know as, as crazy as that may sound, your imagination creates your reality. And some of you simply are stuck in this like loop of, of just envisioning or imagining what has happened. But it's now start to imagine what you're gonna do with the, the money that's coming in, all right? Imagination, the money that's coming in, the life partner that you're preparing for, whether you're in a relationship or not, you are still becoming the greatest version of yourself. All right, and it says, give yourself permission to dream. So your dreams are coming true. You're on the verge of a miracle is what I'm hearing for you, deck number one. In order for you to allow this to happen, you must be open to the universe's help. That's how miracles occur. What else can they expect to happen? All right, what else you can expect to happen? Ten of feathers, this is the ten of swords once again. An ending, a cycle, closing out the chapter, never having to relive it again. That's the breakthrough. You never have to go through it again. Your kids don't have to go through it. Their kids don't have to go through it. You went through it, you know it, you move forward recovery transformation is coming okay so you've been going through a transformation so there's a lot of recovery happening in um in your life in the near future and what this is doing is just getting you into alignment for you to be able to enjoy these opportunities that are coming forward all right so there's a lot of intellect that's coming to you um so that you can make decisions and feel confident about them because there's some fear around making the wrong decision and if you're following your heart there is no wrong decision Let's get two more cards on what they can expect to happen. Deck, deck one, if they are here. Thank you. Perfect. All right. We have king of crystals, courage and commitment. All right. So you're becoming a lot more confident in being able to produce finances, financial stability, financial freedom for your life so that you can be free. You've been working very hard, whether it's in your relationships, whether it's in your business, whether it's in, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of hard work that I feel here. So in this next chapter, it's meant for ease, recovery, naturalness. And that only comes from when we go with the flow of the ocean, the ocean being the universe, go with the flow and not against that current. All right. So you are getting ready to have the courage to break this cycle how you've been thinking, that loop of what could happen, those fears, you are getting ready to break that. I'm hearing some of you have already broken that cycle. All right, so what's to come is the empress. All right, beauty, abundance, it's here. All right, however, receiving it, there are infinite ways, infinite, not one, not a million, not a billion, infinite ways this can come to you. Do not limit it by just looking at one way or two ways or three ways. Be open to all ways that it could be distributed to you because it is coming and it is here. All right. And I do see that you there. There could even be a creative blockage, whatever it may feel to you. You're releasing it all. OK, releasing it all and imagining the life that you do want for yourself and getting into that vibration so that you can receive that. All right. Let's see what the last message is for deck one and what they can expect to occur because there's still more. I feel like the universe still has more to tell you if you're here, what can they expect? Thank you, okay? You can expect to bloom, okay? This, I just feel like your darkest days are over if you're here, your darkest days are over. And the only work, the only work is accepting that. Accept it, accept that that is, you don't have to go through that anymore. 
Okay, so I don't know who I'm talking to, but it's a very, very deep message that's coming through for you. You deserve happiness. You deserve love. And it is coming to you. You deserve abundance. It is coming to you. Be open. Be open to receive it. It may not look how you think it's going to look, but you are here to receive recognition and acknowledgement. For what? Some would think credibility, the work you've done. No, it is just simply for being you. Okay, so you may be going through a rebirth here of discovering yourself. You're getting ready to receive great, amazing news. Money is coming to you. Abundance is coming to you. Not just money, abundance in finances. Uh, some of you, abundance in streams, okay? Abundance in awareness of you, acknowledgement, recognition, an abundance. A lot of something is coming to you, whether it's a lot of happiness, a lot of solutions I'm hearing are coming for you. A lot of ideas are coming for you. So if you are here, I hope that this message brought some inspiration to you. If you are looking for more information about your journey, you can visit I'mReadyToWakeUp.com to get more information on enlightened content. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading for the messages from the universe regarding breakthroughs that are coming into your life. If you guys were drawn to number two, just know that you are a star and you are meant to be seen. I definitely feel like it's not a coincidence out of all three, you have decided to cho choose the most shiniest one in the bunch. And that is definitely for a reason. We have the butterfly ferrets, I am reborn. So you are re being reborn, but in a sense, you are and have already been this person. This version of you may feel very scary because it's a very great version of you, but you have to remember, you don't have to try to be this because you are already are this. So the rebirth is actually the being unborn from what you're not, if that makes sense. So you are already this person and you are meant to definitely be seen here with the butterfly wings. All right, we have the king of water. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy in heart felt advice, charity work. I also feel like someone could be coming into your aura that's very compassionate and caring, trustworthy, respected, could be a soulmate that you are attracting. Um, you are attracting a person, okay? This would not be here if you were not. So you are attracting a person, whether that's a mentor, a friend, a teacher, we can get some more information, a partner, it doesn't really matter. The energy that's coming in is they have a lot of love for you. They have a lot of care for you, a lot of compassion. They could be very uh, well, well, well respected. They have a lot of heartfelt advice. They could be a mentor, they could be a life coach, or they could be a friend or a partner. All right, we also have a page of fire. News of an exciting new adventure. Okay, so a new endeavor is coming in. Use your originality and be genuine, be yourself, be unique. Unique. Actually, your uniqueness is your superpower is what I'm hearing. All right, so there's gonna be a new path that's being presented to you that's way more creative than you've been able to really tap into this energy of your creativeness. So you could have Aries in your chart, Leo, or you can have Sag in your chart, whatever it means. I really feel like you are coming into more of a creative, confident self. All right, whatever this version of you is, it's it's not a version that you have been being for some time now. It, it, it might feel uncomfortable because you're gonna be getting out of some ways that you kind of fell into that were not yourself. So this new chapter in your life, it is gonna be a, it's, a, it's a, an entire breakthrough of a new path that's gonna be presented. It has a lot of passion behind it. You're gonna be in love with this path, all right? You might not know how it's gonna unfold. It's coming up as a page, it's new, it's a baby. All right, it's a baby, you're a baby. If you think about it, this new version of you is a baby. It's barely being born. All right, so you you are have really been shifting into this version of you who is meant to be seen. So you're getting prepared. You have been getting prepared for much more than what you've been doing now. So a new endeavor is coming. It might require a little bit more expertise on your end. However, it's gonna come natural. It's not gonna be something that you have to do exponential work to receive it. It'll come very natural. It'll align very natural. So don't even put pressure on this. I'm hearing don't even make this a career, this next path, creativity. Just let it be creative. Don't taint the creation by trying to control and plan and career business orientate it. Allow it to be a creation. And then when you're ready to share, you can discuss the practical matters. I don't know who I'm talking to, but it feels like a lot of earth energy, okay? So we have four of air, time to rest or take a vacation. So you have a vacation coming up. You should plan a vacation. You should imagine your next vacation. Where do you want to go? Look it up. That's what spirit is saying. Let this breakthrough happen. How do we do it? Break through your mind. 
by feeling like you don't have to, you have to have this and that and that to, together and this much money before you plan the vacation. No, you don't. Just start planning it and the money will come for it. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So some of you could be feeling stressed or overwhelmed with having to make a decision. All right. Or make decisions. Um, coming up, we're going to get some clarity on that. All right. First, we're going to get clarity on why this king of water is here. All right. All right. We have the shadow, self-empowerment, ambition. Okay. So we have Capricorn energy here. So you guys could be attracting or have met a Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart, like I was saying earlier. All right. So this shadow version of yourself is is not something that you can get rid of shadow ego same thing dark whatever it's it's not really dark um this version of yourself is just the lower frequency the lower vibration of yourself right the doubts the fears when you start going towards something that you really love and you're creatively inspired to do it but then the doubts and the fears and the disbeliefs come up that's the shadow side that you're learning how to make amends with right? You can't get rid of it. It may feel like an imposter. I talked a lot about, uh, about this in the education, but it might feel like an imposter. It is not an imposter when you become friends with it, when you make harmony and unity with the shadow self of you. So you're going to be feeling very self-empowered in this next chapter of your life um, to go after some of these creative things with confidence and just simply tuning out everybody vibrationally around you. So whoever you're meeting could also be inspiring this in you. What else is next to come? All right. Thank you. And why is Ace of Cups here in reverse? All right. So some of you, in order to be reborn, you are letting go of what is no longer a part of this version of who you are. OK, whether it's a person, people, places, things, career, it doesn't matter. It doesn't if it doesn't align with this new version of you, there will create there will be um, contrast and conflict. So the best decision, the decisions that are going to be coming up in this next chapter in your life is to choose what brings you the most happiness, truthfully, what brings you the most fulfillment and walk away from what does not because that's a part of who you used to be. That's that no longer serves this new version of you. So I do see that there is some things you're walking away from. And what it's doing is it's allowing these paths to come forward, eight of acorns. So you can see, you can be looking forward to a lot more results coming forward in this breakthrough. So you're going to actually receive more results doing less. And you're going to be, you're going to be amazed. Like, how is it possible for me to be doing less and receiving more doing what I love to do? Because this possibility has always existed. It's just aligning to it by not feeling like you have to do it all yourself. So that's something else that's coming up here. Um, page of acorns. So the next thing that's coming up, we have two pages here. Page of wands is what is on the board here. Childlike energy of an adventure of fun, not knowing what's going to happen. All right. Allowing this, anyone who is successful never knows. Go look at all the stories. They can't tell you. Oh, I just follow my dreams. And next thing you know, this person called me to. So we don't know until it happens right as humans so just go we know intuitively what's meant to happen that's why we have desires and some of you know great things are getting ready to happen you're meant for great things you've had visions of these you've had imagination uh, visions of these dreams of these so you do have access to these already in a spiritual room which tells you that it is true that is actually what you're here to experience that's communication directly from the universe that's that's what i'm hearing so maybe you're just overlooking it maybe that's the case OK, but you are literally communicating when you receive these dreams and visions and see yourself in these places that bring you the most excitement. Doesn't matter what it is. That is literal communication from your higher self. We just don't know. So your higher self has already revealed to you dreams, visions. However, you are to align by going towards them. And as humans, being human beings, <laughs> We have fears sometimes of going towards things we don't understand how is going to happen or if the results or the probability seems low. See, that's a logical stance. You'll never fail with the universe. So there's a discovery and this discovery is bringing a lot of enthusiasm to you. And it's bringing a lot of childlike adventure back into your life of, of passion where things were possible um, and you could have fun and um, get back to what you're here for, is what it sounds like, universe. 
all right? Intuition, inspiration, page of shells, yes. Follow this path of inspiration. There's so much emotion around it, like something that you're in love with, literally in love with, is, is something that you are meant to experience in this lifetime. Who am I talking to, deck two? Transformation, okay? Things are changing at a cellular level. So things are changing and you might not even know because from the physical, you can't really see it. You can only feel this energetically. So deep healing is taking place where deep healing is truthfully deep releasing when you think about it. Deep healing, what is that? That is healing should, was never intended to be work. We make everything work. It's not work. Healing, releasing, accepting, okay? You can heal through laughter. You can heal through dancing. All right, so you are going through a deep level of healing. Who else you're going through? Breakthroughs coming through. What can they expect to occur as a breakthrough? Whoa. Yeah, something's about to come in very fast. Yeah, openness, okay? Being open to the possibilities of what can occur, warrior woman. So yeah, some of you do have a lot of strength and you do have a lot of fight. You're coming up as the warrior, but you're understanding you don't have to fight for what is yours. You don't have to fight for these dreams. Whew, whoever you are, whoever you are, you are in a very high level spiritually, and there is no level, it's just frequency, all right? Just thriving at a very high level. And so it says, have you answered your deepest calling? All right, and you're really, the universe is saying, you don't have to fight for what is already yours. These dreams are already yours. These desires are already yours. Think of them as being attached to you like an umbilical cord. They're not going anywhere, they're yours. You created them into this world, all right? We're all creating this simultaneously. So you do have a, a lot of fight in you, but you don't have to fight in this next level, in this next chapter. You don't have to fight. It is already yours. There's nothing to fight for, okay? <laughs> Yes, it sounds easy, right? Yeah, that's because it's the universe. It, it was meant to be easy and good. And so openness by allowing um, new things to happen that were unexpected that you didn't expect to happen. I see something is getting ready to occur in your life that you could never imagine. And that's why it's taken you a while to get there because you could never imagine it. That's simple. That's it. Just stretching your imagination. All right, we have revelation. Okay, you're getting ready you're getting ready to see who you truly are. You're getting ready to be revealed, the revelation, the revealing, who am I? You're being reborn. You haven't even seen yourself yet. <laughs> oh, I love that. We're, we're constantly evolving. So just getting a peek of us at, in our evolution is just still a glimpse of who we truly are. So there's gonna be a huge revelation that you're getting ready to go through and it has a lot to do with who you are. All right, so you might have a dream about yourself. You might see yourself as an animal Okay, some of you guys might start to see yourself through spirit animals to really understand the strength, the momentum, and um, the power behind who you are. Okay, so there's a revelation that's coming forward here. And then we have concentration. So what are you concentrating on? Okay, concentrating on what you desire, only imagining what you desire, no, no matter how big that may seem to be. Adventure. Okay, so experience, taking risks, wish, okay, wish upon a star. What do you want to experience here? So you can also expect serenity, okay, peace. And that's what comes with just allowing your blessings to come and not resisting. And a way of resisting is just feeling like you have to fight for it because we're over here fighting and then the universe is like, I'm ready to give you this, but you're fighting for it. So that's what I definitely feel like is coming into your life very, very soon. Let's see what else is here for deck two. Deck two. Okay, rest. Okay, lots of timing out. Lots of pauses because it is in this space where we're able to receive from the universe. All right, when we're in a space of peace and allowing we are able to receive. Manifestation card for what's to come. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. And when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. That's what's coming in for you. 
Your breakthrough is getting ready to live your dreams. People will be inspired by this. And the way that you're able to do this is by allowing the universe to guide you. It is going to be your spiritual connection that gives you the victory. All right. That's something that I'm hearing. I slow down and listen to the guidance that, that's available. So in silence and solitude, I always say this is the easiest way for you to hear from the universe is in silence and solitude and to be by yourself. How often are you by yourself? And it's crazy because that's usually when you're with the universe is when you're by yourself. Okay, so we have a lot of distractions going on. I definitely feel like you have to make space to hear. And that comes from silence and solitude. So what else can they expect to be coming in here? If they're here, drawn, thank you. We have passion at the bottom, okay? Balance. Take time out for yourself. Take time to rest if you are here. Indulge a little bit more, you will feel better, all right? Um, I'm even hearing taking naps, <laughs> like, you know, for some of you, that actually will help you, all right? Be very aware of your body, especially in this next era that you're going in, okay? Because I, I see sensitivity around your aura because of who you're becoming, who, again, who you already were. So you can also expect passion, lots of passion in your life, passionate connections, passionate adventures, passionate projects, all right? So that's also here, and a celebration is getting ready to come. Let's see what else is here for you. Deck two, what is this celebration about? Thank you. All right, we have King of Feathers. So I see a plan coming into action, a strategy, all right? So this strategy, you don't have to come up with the strategy to be successful, to find your life partner, to make your marriage great, whatever it may be. There, there needs to be no strategy that you find. As the king of swords, you, the strategy will be given to you, okay? Um, it'll be something that dawns on you like, oh, wow, I could do this. Instead of stressing, trying to figure out what you're doing, that's, that's the energy of being out of alignment, right? You wanna feel good when you're doing it. And when you feel good, you feel God, I tell you guys this. Okay, so if you feel bad, it's an indicator that you're trying to force something and do it on your own. And so I, I see logic answers coming in for you, strategies, how, how to take this approach. But you don't need to know how to go. Go and the how is going to be revealed to you through the universe. Okay, so the king of feathers, you're going to know exactly what to do. You're coming up as a visionary. All right, you will have, you will have, you have so many desires, right? Understand that you, ha you have wants and you've been able to obtain those wants on your own. But these next desires in your life are so big that it requires the universe. And so you have a lot of big dreams, number two. If you're here, like I'm um, lots of visions about ideas, things that you're really excited to get through. But once again, this dream was given to you from your higher self, universe, God, whichever you choose to believe so that you can bring it to life. So I'm pretty sure the universe has the exact plan for you to do that. But that's why they're saying be open to outside um, guidance other than yourselves in this next era. Like just let your higher self drag you into some of these scary places that feel so big for you, right? Just let your higher self take over in those situations because your older self, your old self, the scary self, the fearful self, shaking between the legs to, is gone. You've been reborn. You have so much confidence coming to you if it has not already. All right, we have action and focus. So focusing on what you desire. No longer compromising that for other people. Choose you, deck two. Choose you. All right, that's what this is about. Choose you. Let's see what that last card is. Nine of acorns. It's not meant to be work. All right, this is the perseverance card, the wounded warrior card. It also came up in deck one. You could have been going back and forth between that because there is a lot of resonance here. All right. But it's not meant to be hard. It's easy. The path of least resistance is what spiritual people may call it. All right. Let's get a text message from your future self to see what your future self would want you to know if you are here. If your future self could text you right now, what would it say? It would say, share your ideas with others. This is why I made this deck. Share your ideas with others, okay? You have ideas, and if you're afraid to share them, you might just have the perfect assistant, the perfect web design person around you to actually say, that's a great idea, and is naturally inspired to help you. 
sharing your ideas with others is declaring it out into the world, allowing people to know what that is so that if the, it resonates, they will know they're called to it. You have people called to your vision that will help you. You have a stadium I idea that you're trying to uh, power by yourself. It's like you imagine you powering a whole stadium by yourself. Share your ideas with others. That's where abundance is coming in. All right. Financial freedom and also resources to help you is what I'm, I'm feel, feeling from that. All right. I can't. I can't make it up. I can't. To feel good is to feel God. I just said that. I just said that. I'm like, should it? Sh to feel good is to feel God. Okay. So when you feel good, you are in alignment. It's like, yes, you're getting hotter. Uh, but what about this? Okay, you're getting hot. You're getting cold again. Out of alignment. Does that feel, does it feel good to think that you're not going to succeed? No. Does it feel good to think you're going to fail? All right. So to feel good is to feel God. It is literally communication to go, meant to go towards it. All right. And, and meant to be in it. And you can't think feeling good. You can't think yourself into feeling good. It's just a feeling, it's a vibration, but that vibration is where you're gonna attract everything. So how you feel is very important. And if it doesn't feel good, it's not God. It's very simple. Now, this isn't about feeling good to your ego. That's different. The truth is way completely different to the ego. Feeling good, feeling, not your emotions, but feeling really inside something that just lights you up. We have passion here. Whether it's a person that just lights you up or a project that just lights you up, that is answers, that's communication. That is the highest, one of the highest forms of frequency you can feel, it's love. Go towards that, go towards that deck number two because it's a breakthrough. I see a soulmate coming in for you if it has not already. All right, so there's a very, very, very beautiful connection that is here for you. There's also a very beautiful path of, of towards your passions that you're excited to do. And because you're sharing it with the world, you're going to be able to support yourself financially as well. Now, how you do that is irrelevant because you're not going to know how, just like we don't know how the sun comes up every day. There's a lot that we don't know how that is still working a lot. But obviously we trust and look at that. We all trust and have faith. So it just shows up. All right. So it's last message from future self text message directly to deck two. Imagine yourself exploring three new places. So spirit is trying to expand you. Okay. Some of you, I hear Greece. I don't know why that's coming up. Greece, Japan. All right. Um, Bali, anywhere tropical. Um, the mountains could be significant to you. If any of you feel excited when I say this, feel that. It's communication from your soul. It is you. That's you. That's the realest version of you. Not up here. So this, this is going to be huge for you. You're a huge manifester if you're here. Let's get one more manifester card. You are a huge manifester. Your, your breakthrough is your manifestations coming true. But it's not because you have to go actively do them. You're allowing them to happen. There's a secret, <laughs> and that's that it's easier than we think. I am developing the skill to direct my thoughts. I don't know how this got in here. All right, but direct your thoughts towards what you want. There's a skill in that. Okay, so when that thought comes up and you don't want it, you're like, oh, I don't know, it doesn't feel good. You can take the time to see, you know, where does it come from? Or you can take the time to just let it go, which for some of you, it could be a little bit more challenging if you need to take the time to do that. Um, when I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. So if you feel bad about the future because it's not here, then you're not feeling good. The key is to feel good, feel good, feel God. So if you are grateful, you are feeling good now, which allows it to come sooner, right? But it's hard to feel grateful when we feel like we don't have what we desire. But it actually isn't hard, is what the universe is saying, is find joy and gratitude of the now of the present of all of what is now you manifested then that you're overlooking even now look how far you've come look how much you've learned look how much courage you have um look how intuitive you are look how um philosophy like you are you're here on my channel out of all channels okay this is enlightenment not everybody is talking about this level of frequency and you're here so 
be grateful so you can feel good. It's about feeling good and gratitude helps you feel good. And that's what spirit is saying. So if you guys chose deck number two, I mean, I could talk to you guys all day long. Okay, this feels like Tarot Tribe. Hashtag down below Tarot Tribe if you guys resonated with this reading. And if you're looking for other content, you can find that at I'mReadyToWakeUp.com. In the meantime, moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in a powerful breakthrough you can be expecting from the universe. And I just wanna say I was shuffling the cards and I have this at the bottom. And it says, prepare for your life partner, okay? And we have romance is returning to your relationships. Believe you are lovable. All right, so something that's coming up if you have not already, you are attracting a partner, all right, that resembles you. You will know this is your partner because it resembles a part of you that is very effortless, easy, enjoyable, um, and very nurturing. All right, that's for some of you guys. We're gonna get into that a little bit more because I don't think that I've seen that just by coincidence. We also have new skills, advanced training, and rapid improvement. So you guys can expect things to be moving very rapidly due to some training or some new skills that you maybe have gotten into, developed, um, and also just allowing your inspiration to, to guide you when it comes to learning more things. So don't feel like you have to stress to learn something. Go towards what you naturally enjoy learning. Okay, because these things are going to happen. You're going to be able to learn something in three months that would take you, you know, three years just because you simply enjoy it. So I definitely feel like whatever you're getting ready to do, uh, if it revolves more training and skills and you're excited to do that and there's inspiration flowing, there is going to be very rapid improvements um, coming in the near future for you. We have six of water. So a lot of you guys are connecting with your childhood. You guys could have been drawn to deck number two as well or really been going back and forth. I, I say just go watch it if you were. All right, we have memories from your childhood, okay? So looking at old photos of you, maybe just getting some insight on who you were as a child because that's when you were your truest self, your most authentic version of yourself. And so I do see you guys having some memories, maybe some, some nostalgia, some um, deja vu, going back into just, having realizations of what you did when you were younger and what you enjoyed because these are the answers spirit saying these are the answers um, to a lot of the questions that you have about just who you are what you enjoy doing where you will thrive the best in your career uh, where the best relationships will flow from all of the answers you're seeking are within you finding and discovering you deck three i want to say deck two deck three it's like if you're here deck two is next Okay, so you go through this and then deck two comes and that is just being meant to shine. But I see that you guys are in a transition. All right, so if you're here, you are transitioning. All right, we have two of earth, too much going on at once, the need to make a decision. So there's a lot going on in your, your aura or there could be a lot going on in your field. Even if people are around you, it doesn't matter if they're the most amazing people, you still are in their energy field. And so what I'm hearing is just choose yourself, choose you. All right, choose you so that you can feel good because I definitely feel like that's something that's coming up. All right, we have King of Earth, a successful time is coming in and we also have the Hierophant, all right? So what you can expect to, to be coming in as a breakthrough for you is a lot of unity in your spiritual beliefs, having more peace and believing things. I see that you're gonna be receiving results. So some things that you've been waiting for from the universe, you're gonna see results so that you can see that this is true. This spiritual path that you're on is true and it is real. And I do believe that you're getting ready to receive some viewpoints. You may even be attracting a mentor or a life coach or someone who is a mentor or a life coach with the five here, okay? The higher font could be Taurus energy, could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have a lot of earth sign energy here, all right? You're opening up yourself more to emotions, being emotional, because understanding that this is where you are your truest self in this space of vulnerability and emotion and, and feeling. Okay, so you're definitely going through a transition right now with the butterflies. And um, I'm gonna see what else is coming here. Clarify this two of earth. It's almost like a decision between two different things, uh, maybe coming in two practical things, two cars, a different car, a different house, um, different people, uh, d two different jobs, okay? There is a need to make a decision and to make the decision. Spirit is saying the best guidance when it comes is just to to be true to your heart. What's the easiest, playful, exciting, um, fun, ad adventurous, loving decision that's gonna bring you the most joy, all right? Not what you think others would approve of, but what you believe 
would be. So you're attracting, you're attracting a few people. I think that you're also attracting another person. And this is a, uh, someone who's very generous is the word that we have here. Very responsible, very practical, very caring. Um, and they could definitely be a part of a career. You guys can connect with each other. All right. So breakthrough that's coming in is people. Okay, some people that you've been really desiring to meet, people who have an authentic outlook, people who have more than meets the surface that are inspiring, that will uplift you, that will feed back into your energy field, okay, that will reciprocate that. And in specific, you're meeting one person, all right, and they could be a mentor, they could be a, a person, a relationship, because we do have this. So a breakthrough for you, specifically deck three, if you chose this, you're the only deck, okay, you so feel special, you're the only deck that's really, truly and as you can hear, uh, manifesting a person, all right? So this person is going to play a significant role um, and it comes after a decision, all right? A decision to choose you. Understand your soulmates, no matter who they are, partner, intimate, or friendships, it's a mate to your soul. It's something for you. So you choosing you is choosing your soulmate. Because that is, it is your mate to your soul. It's you. So um, you can trust in whoever this person is, deck three, whoever's coming in, even if it's a mentor or a friend. All right. Let's see if there's any more information on that. All right. We have a lot of change that's coming through. I see you getting a breakthrough out of challenges. All right. Releasing some of these challenges with the five of acorns. It's been a lot of energy that you've had to transcend um and so what's coming in store for deck three thank you all right so we have joy we have vitality a lot more energy okay once again i feel like you guys are going to get so much more done in this next chapter but you're doing less you don't have to do as much and you're learning that. So working smarter, not harder in this next chapter, what you can expect is a breakthrough of joy, a breakthrough of joy that's gonna be bringing you a lot of comfort, a lot of prosperity. All right, let's see what this prosperity is about. King of crystals, yeah. So we have counterpart energy here. So you guys could be building a partnership with someone, um, manifesting a, 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 a business partner, a mentor or a soulmate. Once again, lots of people. And it's because you're manifesting first and foremost, joy and vitality, a vitality back into your life. And what this is doing is it's allowing you to attract people, yeah, a capacity to love. You are attracting love in the next chapter. The breakthrough is love. Finally feeling it in your relationships, in your friendships, in your businesses. People who uh, believe in your businesses just as much as you do. You're finally getting ready to attract people who see the beauty in you, the art in you, the passion in you. You're finally getting ready to do that. It may have felt like a long time, but at the end of the day, the sun is shining. All right. And I just see a lot of endurance coming back to you here. And there's nothing more that you have to really grow in. You're really just learning to expand, to receive more. And all in order to do that is just having the capacity to love. Do what you love, be around what you love. All right, you are a goddess. If you are here, you are God, you are a goddess, meaning you are a creator. All right, little G God, whatever. That's what you, you are a goddess. You are a God, <laughs> if you're here. All right, that's what they're saying. I'm seeing it. All right, where to go? Goddess. All right, intuition. You have a gift of intuition. You know that you don't fit in. You know that you're special. You know that you have a specific uh, desire to feel joy. And you know that it exists somewhere inside of you. You have hope and desire to exist. So I do believe you're, you're manifesting um, a counterpart, a business partner, the perfect career, the perfect job. Uh, whatever it may be here and it's going to bring you a lot of comfortability with the queen of pentacles so we have two people on the board who are more so of like um a couple that would be like a boss couple an empire couple um once again it's love it's career it's pretty much a lot of joy let's see what has why some of these cards are in reverse clarify the knight of crystals in the in the fool in reverse okay observation yeah so right now it's like it's not the time for this, like everything to be just, here it is. I just feel like it's naturally unfolding and to allow it unfold. It's like, don't open the oven before the food is done type of thing. Just be observant, allow it and, and enjoy it. Enjoy this. 
Okay, you're getting ready to manifest something you've always wanted, a person, um, people, community, uh, finances, the perfect career. So just be, uh, just enjoy it, you know? There's no point of want desiring it if you're not gonna enjoy it when it comes and experience, okay? It's here. There's nothing that you need to go through anymore. There's nothing you need to go through anymore. The work is done, you are here. Joy is here. Why is the fool in reverse? That was the one that I was concerned about. Beauty, okay? Radiance, strength. So it's taken a little bit more time for you to kind of see this beauty in yourself, to see all of the great things I'm telling you right now. And you're like, yeah, 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 that's me. We have 22, so 222, two, two, um, or 2022, 20, that year could be very significant in you discovering yourself, self esteem, radiance, strength, feeling good about yourself again. All right? Feeling beautiful because that's who you are. Do not allow any condition to change that is what your higher self, your universe, God is saying. All right, so you're getting ready to come back to you. So who you were before it all happened, okay? So yeah, you're manifesting a soulmate. Deck three, period, you're manifesting a soulmate, okay? You have the six of water here, six of cups. This is a soulmate. I don't know what else you're waiting for here. Okay, so some of you guys, this is going to be very, very beautiful. All right. Now, another thing is you are manifesting a soul life. Okay, not just a soul partner, but a life that you're in love with. All right. And, and you feeling good is very important. So you having feeling confident about who you are um, is very important to you receiving this. Okay, feeling good is very important. So yes, capacity to love, you are getting ready to attract love in general. Just love and everything. You've been through enough, you don't have to go that way anymore. And now that you know that, you learned all you needed to know and now you're here again. Let's get a text message directly from your future self. Your desires are yours to claim. So now it's time to claim your desires by saying, this, these are my desires and I know they will happen. And the greatest feeling is when you are certain they will happen because then you can just let it go and live and then it'll just naturally flow to you, naturally come to you with no resistance. Your desires are just waiting, waiting for you to say, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's, oh yeah, that's mine. There's a reason why out of all cars, that one stands out. Out of all bags, that one stands out. Out of all houses, that one stands out to you. Maybe a few others, yes, you might resonate with a few others, but there's still your desires and there's enough to go around. Okay, so don't believe in scarcity. All right, I'm just setting you up to receive this blessing that's coming into your life, all right? Let's see messages from future self. Let's get a text message directly to the viewer. Thank you. Feel good before it comes. Feel good before it comes. And how can you do that? Imagine it coming. Imagine how you would feel. Imagine the excitement. Imagine yourself in the master bedroom. Imagine yourself in the kitchen. Go look at it physically. Whatever requires you to feel good before it comes is what's gonna help you just be in the vibration to receive it. And it's not meant to be hard. It's not meant to be work of, okay, let me try to feel good. <laughs> like, no, this is just find what makes you feel good. Get to know yourself, okay? Lots of self-love coming through here. Get to know yourself and what feels good so that what doesn't feel good, you don't do it anymore. And this, th this way, your vibration is easier to maintain. Text message directly from future self. You have the power to transcend pain. So because you have this power to transcend pain, guess what you attract? Pain. All right? However, you are learning that there is no more pain to transcend. There's no more pain to transcend um, because again, that would be living in the past. And so I do think you're making amends with some things that have happened in the past so that you can just have your power to feel good. And that's what transcending is, is just taking it and making something out of it to where the pain feels good. So whether that's expressing yourself through artistry, through drawing, through dancing, through fashion, through creating, through expression, 
through poetry, through music. This is a gift to transcend it. It's waking you up. Your gift, your pain activated your gifts. So without it is what I'm hearing. Deck three, be free to express yourself. Okay, so you were definitely drawn to this. This is like the peacock crystal. Okay, you're meant to be seen. Kind of kind of hidden. Okay, you can't really see until you look up close that they have. It has gold shimmering um, little plates around it. And so it's kind of like low key, but when you get closer, it's like, oh, wow, they're very bright. And that's kind of like your energy here, right? And it is okay to be seen and be vulnerable. You are protected and you are safe to share yourself with with social media with others okay it depends on where you're at okay because some of you are meant for social media that is just what is here you are meant to inspire um and you will attract abundance a lot of and most of the time people who attract a lot of are connected to a lot of people and that happens to be social media so be free to express yourself don't care about what people say don't care if you get 20 likes it doesn't matter. None of that even matters. You expressing yourself and expressing yourself and, and continuously doing that is allowing you to attract true versions of you and other people because they recognize you. And that's what's attracting your life partner, soulmates, business partners, um, mentors, everything. Okay, so be free to express yourself. All right, let's see if there's anything else coming for deck three. Breakthroughs, courage. So you're getting ready to receive a lot more courage. You are safe. Just said that. See, that's what I'm sensing. Like you are safe to express yourself. All right. Um, and you will receive unconditional love for doing that. So fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. So some of you have to really choose yourself and say no in this next chapter so these blessings can come in. Sometimes no's are love too, is out of love as well. Love for you. So I'm really hearing to choose you so these blessings can come. Anything else that's coming in store? For deck three all right closing out some cycles here magician is peeking through yeah the world card lots of exploration and travel in the cards for you you are meant to travel deck three you were meant to travel you were meant to explore okay exploration if i were to tell you go explore the world and you feel so excited to do that that is confirmation from your higher self. That's confirmation that that's a part of what you're here to do. So how often are you doing what you love? In this next chapter, you're learning to do more of what you love, which may even feel new to you. All right. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. You're balancing out your practical, um, your pa practical matters in this next season of your life. All right. Um, I want to get one more card for why the Six of Pentacles is in reverse. Thank you. All right. I feel like the more that you share, the more abundant you will be. So when you hide yourself um, and when you don't share yourself in any way, it is almost like um, things could slow down, even financially. But when you put yourself out there, or you express yourself and you're feeling good, money flows to you faster. Connections flow to you faster. So being in the hermit mode um, for too long is it could prevent you from other possibilities that are coming forward. So I definitely see in this next chapter to not worry so much about the practical matters of how these things are going to come into play, but to allow them to come forward with the, the world card here. Okay. Um, and the travel and the exploration, everything is perfectly aligned for you already, um, divinely guided. All you have to do is really trust and be open to that guidance here, because once again, um, you are connected to spirit. I, I feel that your energy is connected. However, there, there is a more of, um, of a recognition of what true love is because this comes from God and the universe. And it is like a parent loving a child. You can do no wrong. You can do no wrong in the universe's eyes. You can do no wrong in God's eyes, period. It doesn't matter what you do. It is unconditional love. And so that connection, imagine, is working diligently and doesn't even have to work, but has aligned everything for you perfectly based out of love. So if you don't understand that the universe God is on your side in this next chapter, you won't understand how it's going to happen. Your desires are perfectly synced and aligned with the universe. The universe already knows. You don't even have to put in your order anymore. You've already put in some of your orders. 
The universe knows what you desire. However, bringing it to you um, for you to receive it is a whole different thing. And we have the re receiving card in reverse. So there is communication, great communication that is getting ready to come in and break through in your finances as well. All right, let's just see what that's about. Thank you. The wheel. Yeah, it's destined. We have Leo energy on the board. Okay, some of you, you're not going to know how. You're not going to know how because your mind only knows what it's been taught. In this next level, it's it's something you've never been through. So you're it's the unknown, okay? And I love the unknown because what it does, and you only know it after, it's like going through a dark tunnel, but you see a little bit of the light at the very end. So there's, it's like the universe never leaves you alone. There's always like a little light on and you follow and you go towards that light and you go through the unknown and you can't see anything. That's why most of the time the full card here, which is what you're kind of like, you're looking and you're like, okay, I want to go down there, but eh, it's looking a little dark. It's looking a little dark. These moments are perfectly set up for you so that you can establish a better communication with the universe. Sometimes we have to be in the dark completely to be able to even hear the light. You know, when a room is so dark and a little light is beaming, but it looks so bright because the room's dark. So the unknowns allow us to turn to spirit. We don't always have to go through these stages, but because we have desires that we do not know how to achieve practically, spirit will always be expanding us and communicating. And so if there has to be a way to strengthen that communication, like a best friend, okay? A best friend to you in the universe, to you and God, that's how it has to be because you, you are one being guided into this destiny of the wheel. You can't miss it. So you don't have to do it alone in this next chapter. Be open more to this relationship. And, you know, just like you meet people, it takes time to get to know them. So it's going to take time to get to know God, the universe, so that you can trust that voice in this next era in your life, because you're getting ready to do some pretty incredible things, deck three. So if you guys are here, I'm hoping that I was able to inspire you, bring you an encouraging message. If you guys are looking for more info, you can find that down below or I'm ready to wake up.com. In the meantime, you guys can find me here on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram at the Tarot Priest. And I will see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. Love and light.